All right, what's up, everybody? We're back at the Undead Settlement Cliff Underside Bonfire. We're ready to move forward in the game. I'm going to start by walking right up here, getting the bow out, start shooting this little guy hanging off the uh, ledge. Oh, keep the bow out, and we're going to and see if we can't keep this on our side. There we go. Partisan. And we've got a couple enemies right in here. It <laughs> sounded like he screamed as he fell. <laughs> there he is. Now, holy, he did not die though. That's why he screamed, because he's still alive. Huh. Not anymore. So, watch that you don't step off here and fall down here. You want to make your way around here. Talk to Cornix the Pyromancer for a moment. Let him out. Aha. Unkindled, are we? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old Pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromances from this old man? Yes. <laughs> Most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Alright, he'll teleport back to the Fireling Shrine. Let's stand here looking at him. We're headed for that building. Up to talk to that giant eventually. Let's grab this hand axe. Alright, now I'm going to switch over to my fire bombs. We've got a big enemy here. I just want to lure him back towards these barrels. He looks pretty determined to be all about it. Let's give him this. Huh. Poor guy. Alright. Fire clutch ring. Back off those. Now, I, I've allotted my Estus Blast up to six. I've upgraded this sword twice now. And I'm still wearing all the same armor as I ever was. Um, I think I level 22. Not really going out of my way to farm anything. Just trying to move ahead in the game. We want to aggro that dog over there. Bring him over to us. Nope. Now we want to get behind that tree. We can kind of avoid everybody if we just stay to this side. Grab that ember. Now we actually want to go across that little bridge, but if we come down here and then in here we can go open a shortcut if uh yeah get out of my face nope he says he's gonna bite me a time or two all right here we go going down a few rats in the tunnel down here you can deal with them however you want to they're fun to shoot arrows are five souls apiece Um, there's a big rat back in this fog, so we might want to equip the sword and shield a moment. No. He's very easy to kill, just big, I suppose. 
blood bite ring off of that rat. Now, we're going to open this door, and this does lead down to a bonfire, but we're going to ignore that bonfire for now. We need to make sure that the giant is on our side before we try to go through those trees and get shot with arrows. Attacked by everybody. He'll shoot the enemies instead when he's our friend. So let's try to get there. He's up there overwatch overlooking that place. Missed him. Took an arrow to the knee. One in the forehead. <laughs> he has no clue where that came from. Alright, I'm gonna get back on the shield. He likes to throw that. They like to charge in. That's one down. Grab some rubbish. Let's shoot this guy. Not bad. Oh. There we got him. Take a drink. Summon somebody in for a little help. But we'll we'll worry about that later on, maybe. Get up on top of here and grab this item. No need to fight him at all. Though, if I were to go down below, I think he might... Damn those dogs. He might drop down or throw that cauldron or anything down on you. that. Come over here and talk to Aegon real quick. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd know an uh, uh, oh, awful, awful lot about not being pretty. Look at him. <laughs> All right. If like the others, you'll fool him. I am. Chance. I'm going to go ahead. Now there's somebody back in there we can't get to right now, but before we end up leaving the Undead Settlement, we will be back to get her out of there. <laughs> that guy called me a maiden. Go back and chop him up. There he is, Sigward. He was like the main star of Dark Souls 1. Everybody liked him. Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. 
Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. This lift only goes down. But you know... With a little warming up, eventually... No. No. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. 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 This lift only goes... Yeah, down. okay, so we get it. We're gonna head down here. Now, there's a Boreal Outrider Knight down here. Uh... The frost, the great big frost nights that beat you up pretty good. Let's see how it goes. And I sent the lift back up. But we need to... Uh, we don't need to come this way, but it helps to uh, open this bonfire up down here and work from here back in. So let's see how we do against him. Terrible already. sword. I'll take this item. Let's go on out here and hit this. There's a bonfire out here and then we'll move on in I think on up to the top of the tower where the giant is who shoots the arrows. Just gonna sit down real quick. Alright let's go see if we can befriend the giant stop him from shooting us with arrows. Um, he hasn't shot me with any, but when you come into the undead settlement, you can kind of end up going one of two ways. And the easier way, in fact, kind of leads you over to where you'll be bombarded by these great big arrows everything you do. So that's why we've come this way. We want to stop the giant from doing that before we even have to deal with it. And coming this way kind of allows us to pick up a kind of a side area, a few special sets of armor, nice rings. We want to make sure we don't miss this stuff. Now Sigward was down there. He rode this up and got off right there. We'll ride it back down pretty soon. But from here we want to look up and notice this window here. Let's head back up the stairs and go talk to the giant real quick. Here he is. Make peace with him. Alright. Just check out the Lothric Castle. A few places <laughs> we'll be down in there eventually. That's where we've come from. Let's keep moving. Now there's the window again. We want to be facing that window as we travel down. Let's look down. There we go. Ah, oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright rubber. Thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, is it? Some days I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought. 
then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him. No, I think not. He's far too overheated. I've <laughs> got to use my head and think. He's too overheated. We're gonna grab this homeward bone over here. I suppose if you don't want to fight him, you can use it. There he comes. Um, now we can... Oh, come on, what in the hell was that about? No, kind of late to be yelling oh. about it now, Sigurd. I, Sigurd of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side. Not doing so good in this fight. Need to really try and maintain some health. Some of the upcoming areas. Boy, he's an awful looking demon. Stay out of the way of that for a minute. Where you at, Sigward? I could use the hand, man. No way. Not gonna happen, even. Man, he took a little bit off me. <laughs> All right, Sigward. That was quite a performance. Yeah. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. Your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> oh, a place to sleep, Sigward. Alright, see, I tried to get that earlier, and apparently I didn't wait long enough between all of his snoring and whatever. So there, I've got it. Let's move on ahead. Arch Club. A couple items up here to bring down. Oh yeah, it's the Matrix right there. The Matrix. There's the Pale Tongue. Now that'll cause another NPC to show up at the Firelink Shrine who's going to tell us where to go get the full Red Eye Orb. And that'll be back on the High Wall of Lothric. You know, there was a door we couldn't open then. Now we've got this Pale Tongue. We can. The Northern Helm. Armor, gloves, trousers. Nice. Um, uh, I think you can, like, invade or you can kill somebody as a mound maker and maybe get a pale tongue. 
as well. That'll cause the other guy to spawn without getting it here. But that's just an easy place to get one. Let's go on. Those are good for fire damage protection. Use a lot of those pellets and PvP to counter what everybody puts on their weapons. Now we want to notice the two black cages hanging down. One there and that one there. Missed. How could I miss him? I like these little swords. They You can hit a lot with them, but... They are not very long at all, you know. And I was always used to using the long S stock and then moving down to these. Oh, they never jump until you put your shield down. What a joke. Alright, come on. There you go. Now I'm going to start shooting these hanging cages. Just pop, pull them down and kill them. We're after that chest you see back there on the ground. Right there. These guys will not do anything unless you open that chest. You can run all over this room, fight all over in there, and they won't drop unless you open that chest. But then they drop right on you and you got four of them all at once. There's the human pine resin that should, I think it puts dark on your weapon, but I couldn't honestly say. Get some of this stuff out of the way, I don't want to miss this fool. <laughs> I missed him the second time. We'll see who the fool is, he says. There's one. Oh, he hates that. Missed him with it that time. And that time. Come on now. Not that time. just makes it so much easier to only have one of these to deal with up there. Be a good shot to hit him. Right like that. Let's go deal with the other one. Take a drink. Fireball. That is such a quick little move they do, where they hit you over the top of the head with the book. <laughs> no way. Ha, ah, hilarious. I'm gonna watch your language, I'll take that spiked mace. That thing's huge. Such a delayed swing on it, it it's sometimes hard to avoid. Let's get up here, grab this Flynn's ring. Alright. I've got just enough I feel comfortable heading down through here. Alright, we're going to go right around this. Grab the homeward bone. Apparently somebody didn't make it. Oh, that's too bad. Well, that's ours. This is ours. And now we've made it back out here. Now we can't go in that door over there. And that's where we came down from the bonfire and everything. We need to end up back at the burning tree in the middle of the undead settlement that we were returning to each time in the earlier videos. So, I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. 
Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm going to keep making these. Keep going through the game. We'll see you later.